In this video, I'm going to explain how the character presets are going to work moving forward with Genesis 8. Uh, as you may know, we have broken out the eyelashes uh, into their own geometry so that they can follow the morphs a little better, and make it a little bit easier to work with the mesh. Um, but character presets historically have not been able to load additional mesh. And so we have come up with a solution that uses scripts and hopefully will be automated enough that you won't have to fight with it too much. So I'm just going to walk you through real quickly what it does. Uh, first of all, um, I'll just show you it in action. So I'm going to load this Genesis 8 basic female preset. Now that she's loaded, you may notice here that we have the eyelashes uh, loaded automatically. This was not a subset, a, a scene subset or a scene file. This was the character preset. How this works is uh, for you, we'll just start fresh here. I'm going to go into the developer kit and load the, the untextured one that doesn't have eyelashes. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the anime folder and load the eyelashes. Now this this eyelash preset will actually load in and apply some some data items to Genesis 8 female um, that will tell it kind of how to hook this up. So if I do this and I'm just going to make this a bodybuilder, whatever, give it some ears. Okay, I have my character and I'm just going to go and save my character. So let's just go up here. Um, I'm going to save my character preset. My character. Now, the dialogue has changed a little bit. Now, this is widened because I stretched it out, but we have this post load checkbox. And if you click this, it'll, it should autofill saying it has a script that it's going to load. Uh, this script is included with Genesis 8 female base, so you don't have to worry about it. It's just there in the background, and, and you won't have to reference it directly here. Um, but if you click this option, this button right here, it'll pop up dialog where you can see your post load settings, um, meaning what settings will apply after you've loaded your content. And you will look in here, and you can see all this information that you really shouldn't have to worry about too much. But... Uh, we have this content type that's a unique identifier. So anybody that makes their own custom eyelashes, they will want to set it as this content type to match up with ours. And what this script will do is it will actually, um, as it loads, it'll check and see if an eyelash object is already loaded on Genesis 8 female. And if it is, then um, it will figure out, okay, is this the same as me, as what I'm trying to load, or is it a different eyelash? If it's a different one, it'll replace it. And if it's the same, it just leave it alone. And then after that, it will apply this material preset. And this is something that you can, you can customize. Uh, you probably will have to customize this one if you're going to change the eyelashes in any way. So um, as I have this set up, basically I'm just going to get if I say OK, and I, you know, I didn't even have to open this dialog if I want to go with default settings, um, just had to check this post load button and then say accept. Then now I have a character preset there. And now if I clear my scene and then I load it, my character is going to load up with eyelashes. All right, and, and as you can see, it's textured and everything because it already was set up to apply the material preset that that uh, we ship with our base texture for the eyelashes. Now, if you wanted to customize what the what material preset gets applied to your eyelashes, then what you would do is in that character preset save dialog, you would change it. So let's go ahead and do that. My character pops up. And check the post load. Go in here to edit. You see this path right here. This is pointing to the default preset, but I'm going to 
point it to the Victoria eyelashes, just so we can see how this works. What we're go going to do is take this path and drop it in here. Now you have to change all these backslashes to forward slashes. It's a little tedious if you have a text editor, which all of us should have one at least. Um, you can load that string into, you know, load that text into your text editor and do a find and replace for all those. But it didn't take me that long, so I'm just going to go with what I have. And let's see the name of the preset right there. Okay, so that's my path to my preset. Now one thing I need to check actually is I need to see what kind of preset this is. And I'll explain why in a moment. So this is a hierarchical material preset. So this was made so that it doesn't matter whether you have Genesis or Genesis 8 female selected or if you have the eyelashes selected, it will load the preset correctly. So this next option right here actually is based on what kind of preset you're loading. So select add-on is false. And what this means is um, we're going to load Genesis 8 female, your character, and then it's going to load the eyelashes. And then if the preset that you're going to apply is just a regular material preset for the eyelashes, um, that where you have to select the eyelash itself and then apply the material preset, then you would set this to true. So you just double click this and change it to true. In this case, it's a hierarchical material preset. It doesn't matter whether it switches to the eyelashes or not. So I was just going to leave it on false uh, as it is because it'll apply and work fine. Um, whether you have it switch or not, uh, your selection will go back to whatever you had selected before you ran this, this uh, character preset. So it's not going to hurt anything but you just have to make sure if it's a regular preset to turn this to true. So I'll accept this and let's hope I got my path right. I'll just accept and then I'm going to clear my scene and load the character and you can see that it's using the Victoria eyelash um, transmit. So that's how you can customize that to load your own eyelash uh, material. And then if you want to do custom shapes for the eyelashes, this is a little bit different than you're used to, I'm sure. What we actually do is we want to create uh, an empty morph on Genesis 8 female that the users will interact with. If you notice, that's what we did for our eyelash morphs. Uh, they are on they are on Genesis 8 female and as you dial them it's actually causing morphs on the eyelashes to dial up just like any clothing or hair or whatever that you would do so uh, it's just using the auto follow to move the, the lashes we just feel like that's a little better user experience because users may not appreciate having to switch the eyelashes every time they want to change the shape so I'm just going to show you real quickly how you can create your morphs in here on the figure. So I'm just going to, let's see, I'm going to put it in the same spot here. So right next to these, I'm going to right click, create a new property. And so it's got my path correct and everything. And I'm going to call it, well, you know what? I'm going to cheat a little bit and find out what we call the other ones. Okay. So we went, you know, Daz with our prefixes and all. We did PHM for partial head morph. You can do whatever method you use. Um, I'm going to create my property though and name it PHM eyelash 2. I know it's a very creative name. I apologize. And do that. And my type is a shaping uh, shaping type and I just want 0 to 1 as my range and I like the percent and I'm going to I need to check this create as empty morph option and then I create it. Now I have my lash morph doesn't do anything 
but this name is important. So here I go. I copied my name. I'm going to go create my morph now, so I'll come back in a moment. Okay, I created my morph, so I'm going to select my eyelashes, and I'm going to use Morph Loader Pro, and I'm going to do reverse deformations. Uh, so let me just show you that in a second. My morph that I created is named PHM Eyelash 2, exactly like the morph that I created on Genesis 8 Female. And you have to make sure reverse deformations is turned to yes, um, because of the way we did the lashes. And that should be good. So I'm just going to load it in. And it says it was successful. There it is. Now if I go on to Genesis 8 Female and dial my lash morph, you can see it at cause the morph to dial up on on my eyelashes so that's that's how it's going to work and then i just need to save out the morph asset on genesis 8 female and the morph asset on genesis 8 female eyelashes and once those are both saved out this should all work seamlessly for customers um, i'll be able to dial up the little morph on here and have it follow and i think that is enough to get you started if you have any questions make sure to contact pa support